Welcome to the Art Lady channel. Today we are going to be making these really fun tropical drinks and they could even be ice cream sundaes or ice cream sodas. This is an ice cream soda. It's orange soda with vanilla ice cream. So I call that one a creamsicle. But we're going to be making these fun drinks with accessories. And we're going to take the basic cylinder, the cylindrical form, and we're going to turn that into our drinking glass. So we're following the same rules as how we create our basic cylinders. For example, this is a simple, simple cylinder, but then we'll alter the shape and make it a little bit fun down here. But we'll still follow the same rules as the way we made our uh, top of the cylinder, and we'll still mimic the top of the cylinder in these other curves of the glass. Okay, so we're also going to add a cylindrical, long, elongated cylindrical form, a tube in here for our straw. And here's a nice large straw over here. And then as an option, if you want to add some cubes for ice cubes, you can do that too, depending on which kind of fancy drink you're going to be drawing today. To start off, we want to use either a pencil or a marker. Because when we do the top rim of the glass, we want to be able to erase behind anything we put on our glass. So if we put a little lemon wedge, we want to be able to erase the lines that are behind it. Or if we stick a straw in, we want to be able to have the straw in front of the back rim here. So I use either the yellow marker because when you draw with a yellow marker, it's easy to hide by coloring it with paint, or we use a pencil. So whatever your teacher's instructing you to do, or if you're at home, you have a choice of what you want to do. But we're gonna go ahead and find the center of our paper in the very middle. So I'm going top, bottom, side by side. I find the very middle. And I'm just gonna jump up a little bit. It's gonna be less, or about two fingers up. So if I put two fingers with, so here's two fingers stacked on the very middle, and I just put a mark where those two fingers end. So I've jumped up two fingers wide, and then I'm gonna jump up again another two fingers and put another mark. This is where the opening of the glass is going to be. So I'm gonna extend this just a little bit, and it's pretty much two fingers wide as well that I'm extending it because then I'm going to make my oval shape here and then the back of the oval here. And that's going to form the opening of the glass. So then I'm slightly tapering down around back to my original lines and I'm going to do the same on this side. So I'm going to taper down and around. It's almost like a pretty large letter C. I come more down diagonal than a, than a regular C. A regular C would be like this. A regular C is more rounded. This comes down a little bit less. And so I start coming down and curving round. And then I bring this up as well. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the rest of the glass to this. So I'm going to come, I'm going to lift my page up a little bit so you can see. I've got some room up here for umbrellas if I want to add, straws, anything else I want to add in my drinks. But then now I'm gonna work on the forming of the rest of my glass. So now let's look at some glasses and decide what shape we want. So once you've decided the shape of your glass, then you're going to decide how tall the stem is going to be. And this is the stem of the glass. So this one's a pretty short stem here. Wayne Tebow, when he did some parfaits, he had some really long stems. And I'll show you what that looks like. Decide where your stem is going to be. And I'm going to put a line right in the very middle. So I go side by side and I put a little line where the stem's gonna start. And then I know the rest of this part's gonna be the glass. And then the 
the foot of the glass will come down here. So I'm gonna start forming my glass. So I'm gonna come over and up. I'm gonna give it a rounded base here. So this is almost like a letter U I'm making here. And you want it to be the same on both sides. And then my glass is gonna taper in and then it's gonna come back out. So I'm gonna start off on my rim, come down, in, and then swoop back out. So I have this nice curve right here. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side. If I match this curve, I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna put a line, and then I'm gonna swoop back out. So I wanna match both sides because I want them to be the same on both sides. And then I'm gonna come back down this way. So this is a little bit fancier of a glass. If you want a plain glass, just come from here and bring it right up straight. Depending on the shape of your glass, what you're interested in making. You don't have to copy me exactly. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of a glass at the bottom. When, if you're a glass blower and you form this shape, when you form the foot of the glass, at the stem, they have a little molten ball right here of glass, so I'm gonna put this on. And now this is where the stem forms, right here. They attach it with a little piece of glass. So I'm coming two lines down for my stem, and then I'm gonna flare out for the foot of my glass. So I come down diagonal and down diagonal. Now I'm gonna round these corners, so curving down, curve down, so come down and around, and then this is right in here, a slightly curved line. So that's the foot of that glass, the stem and the foot. So now I have a really pretty shaped glass that makes an interesting design. And now I'm gonna fill it with some accessories. Am I gonna have straws? Am I gonna have fruit? Decide what kind of drink you want to put in yours. For the next part of the video, you're gonna be adding your own accessories to make it your own tropical drink. Um, it could be an ice cream soda. So if you're gonna do an ice cream soda, you can add freeform shapes for ice cream. If you're gonna do like a tropical iced tea, you can add your own fruit and straws and ice cubes. So whatever you decide to make your drink. Some of you might wanna do a root beer float. So you can brainstorm cool eye tropical drinks. But I will show you how to do ice cubes, straws, and a fancy umbrella in the next section of the video. In the very end, I'll show you some paint techniques as well. We're gonna follow the formula of just a simple box because we wanna be able to see through our ice cubes. So I'm gonna turn my glass to the side and then I'm gonna draw my cube and I'm gonna do it, um, if you notice, it's a little bit wider than my finger. It's about an inch wide. And so I'm gonna draw my cube. So I'm gonna now put the other side of the cube so I jump up from my corner. And I do have a video on how to draw these cubes. And I'm gonna draw the same size square. So I, I just draw two squares, one is above the other. And then I connect both of these down. So there's my cube. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put another ice cube in. And I'm just gonna place one right here. And you wanna keep the second cube the same size as the first. So instead of ice cream, this is gonna be an iced drink. I'm actually gonna be making a Shirley Temple, which is a Sprite added and a little bit of cherry juice is added to it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my straw. And I want my straw to come behind these ice cubes. So 
I'm going to start the, the straw bottom right here. I'm going to just do a straight line and just go right through everything. And then do the same on the other side. And then I'm going to do the opening of the straw right here with an oval. Now this is what will get erased, the back here for the straw. And then the, these lines are going to get erased as well because I want the ice cubes to be in the front. So the straw is going to be behind the ice cubes. There's my ice cube here. So now I'm going to put a umbrella inside this drink. And I have a little fancy umbrella right here. These are those little drink umbrellas that you get at the restaurants. And I remember as a kid, I used to get these right here in my Shirley Temple. So we're making a Shirley Temple today. So we're gonna go ahead and put an umbrella in our drink, like so. So I'm gonna start off, I want the center line here that comes right down the middle. If you look at that, it's, um, it's got a, 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 like a toothpick. So I wanna start with that center line. So I'm gonna do the top of the umbrella, which is here, and I'm just gonna go straight down. So my umbrella's gonna be on this side. So I'm gonna give it the thickness right here. And then this goes through the umbrella, and then I'm just gonna come down with my stick that goes in the glass. So this area is where the umbrella's gonna be opened. So I'm going to open it up slightly and then I'm going to come down straight on each side and if you notice here, see how these little supports in the umbrella stick out a little bit? We're going to put those in as well. So I'm going to come open on each side. So I'm going to draw a straight line down, straight line down this way and then I'm going to give some supports. So I'm going to do a support here and a support here. And then I'm just going to basically connect these edges. Connect. So here's my supports. And I'm going to connect at a support here. So now I have a lovely little umbrella in my Shirley Temple drink. I'm going to show you how I did these ice cubes. What I did was I took my lines of my ice cubes and I lightly erased them. I still want to see my ice cube shapes, but I'm lightly erasing. And then I'm going to trace over my ice cubes now with a gray crayon. So I traced the ice cubes because you see through the ice cubes so I want to see my cubes and I'm doing them lightly let me bring it in low so you can see just lightly with the gray And then I take my white crayon and I'm coloring just the ice cube. Real careful, pushing really hard. That way when I paint in my drink, it causes a resist. See how it forms that resist? It makes it look like the, the drink is on top of and around the ice cubes. It gives it a little bit of a transparent. And I'm filling in that really good. I'm really tracing the edges. I'm pushing hard on my edges so that the ice cubes kind of blend in. Now, let me bring this down. So there's my ice cubes. And now I'm gonna decorate my drink. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is trace over all my fun things in my drink. So I'm gonna trace over the umbrella lines. And 
And then all of the good lines I will be tracing now with Sharpie. And I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. If you want to add a table, that's always helps with composition. So I add a horizontal line coming across for that. And then you can decorate wallpapers and tablecloths. To finish this particular picture, I'm gonna be using crayons and a watercolor tray. You can use anything that you have at home, but I just prefer this technique for the drink. And then it's also nice for the wallpapers or the tablecloths. And what I do with the resist is I push really hard with the crayon to add pattern. Here it is in the, the wallpaper or the tablecloth by pushing real hard with the crayon and then when you do a light wash of paint on top, it gives a little bit of texture right on top of the crayon. It's a wash of watercolor. Wherever the crayon is, it resists, the paint will resist and pop off. And it will give a little bit of bumpy texture, which is really quite beautiful. And this will be perfect for my Shirley Temple drink that I'm making. So I'm gonna be lightly coloring where I want the texture to be kind of bumpy and two-toned with paint. So I've got lots of different values in here from the paint and the crayon. Same thing here on this tablecloth here. I did a light color of, of turquoise crayon and then when I went on top with green paint, I get these nice values of color. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do my Shirley Temple, the drink part. I'm just gonna lightly color my drink. And then my, my ice cubes have already been colored with the white. I can give a little bit of the pink on top to show that the ice cubes are transparent. And I can even do some little circles in here because it's a carbonated drink. And even if I did some light circles with white too, that would show up good. I'm gonna give some lines at the bottom for, bottom here for some reflection. Sometimes the color reflects down the stem. And of course I'm going inside here. Now where I want some distinct lines, like the tablecloth, then I'll use a, a darker pressure for the crayon. So I'm gonna go ahead and design my paper with crayon and then I'll show you what it looks like once I've done all the crayon part. I am gonna put in a fancy design on my umbrella as well. Here's what I have so far. I just kept three basic colors. I did a red, a pink, and a little highlight of green. And for the tablecloth, I did some polka dots. And I showed a little bit of perspective where I had the polka dots a little bit bigger in the front and as they get farther back on the table, they got a little bit smaller. And I did a little bit of transparent color behind my ice cube. So very lightly, I added the straw in because you would see through this ice cubes just a little hint of color. So I went ahead and added that. And then I did some designs in my umbrella. Now I'm gonna do some watercolor wash on top and I'll show you what that looks like. To create the watercolor resist, you would go into the water and then touch the color and moisten it. Once the color is moistened, you then go into the water and then lightly touch that color. And then you're gonna go right over the crayon lightly with your paintbrush. The water color paint will pop off the crayon so that the crayon will show just like that if you're doing this and it does not resist just add a little bit more water to your brush and then go on top and then you'll get a nice resist I'm going to show you how I do down the tablecloth and you can see how it just instantly pops right off that color and that's how you do your resist. And sometimes it forms little beads of color. That's okay. That's what gives it interesting texture. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish mine and then I'll show you what it looks like. 
malam jam.